So as we come to the end of this message, I started to talk about that little bird, Cocky, that my, that my dad had, who had that really cool whistle. <whistles> and he, and, we, and we, we whistle it and he whistle it back. And just like Cocky was not free because he was in the cage, we can feel trapped. And I talked about some of the ways we feel trapped. I talked about when we compare ourselves with others, when we allow fear to direct our steps, when we try and please people rather than please God. When we have insecurities and doubts about who we are, what we're about, do I fit, where do I fit? We have all these insecurities that hold us back from all that God has for us. We have poor habits, negative self-assessment, negative voices of others, and then there's sin. As, we, as, as I give you that list, I wonder, out of all those things, where are you trapped? Where do you feel like that bird in that cage? Where aren't you free? As a church, we talk about getting real and taking action. So if we're going to get real, it needs to start with me. So let me give you a story of where I'm a bit stuck at the moment. I've shared with, with our church that growing up, I used to get, I was um, this one here, this uh, people pleaser. And over the years, it's something that I've worked on and tried to change and ask God to help me. And I've got better and better and better. But, but recently, I, I've, I found myself people pleasing again. And, and, I, and I think it's because of a, an incident that happened in my life. Um, earlier in the year, I had to make a really difficult decision. It was really difficult for me and also really difficult for the people involved. Um, it was something that I agonized over for months and sleepless nights. And, and it, was, it was a really tough decision because I knew it would hurt. I didn't want to make it, but I thought it was best for the church. So I, I made that decision. Um, but then recently... In, in reflection, when, when our people have asked me for things or to do things, I've, I'm, I'm much, I've, I've been saying yes more often. Now, as a leader of an organization, it's, it's, it's great to say yes. You want to celebrate people, but also you need to say no. Because as a leader of the organization, you're responsible to protect what, who, who God wants us to be and, and, and what we're about. And over this last couple of months, I've, I find myself saying yes more to things that I would normally say no to. Why? Because I don't want to hurt people. I, 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 I actually want to please them. And I think it's to do with that incident where I, where I made it very difficult for people earlier in the year and no doubt pain, and I didn't want to create that pain for anybody else. And so now I've shrunk back into people pleasing. And that's an area where I think I'm stuck now and I need Jesus to meet me and transform my mind and remind me that I'm not here to serve not, not, not only here to serve others, but I'm here to serve him and I need to do the things that he wants. You say yes to him, which means maybe saying no to others and allowing people to be upset with me for a season and allowing people to be hurt. Not that I want to hurt them, but it's about obeying God before trying to keep people happy. So I share that story because as the leader, I need to go first. And, and I share that because that's an area where I'm stuck. And, and so now I ask you, where are you stuck? As you look at these list of things, where are you stuck? Where are the areas that you feel like that trapped bird in that cage? 